Welcome to Pre-Math. In this step-by-step -step video tutorial, we are going to solve and graph this given rational inequality. And here is our very first step. Make sure that zero is on one side of the inequality. That means we want to make a zero on the right hand side. That means we are going to move this five on the left hand side. So that means we can write as x minus 8 divided by 2 minus x. And this when 5, when we drag it on the left hand side becomes negative 5 is greater than or equal to 0. And now I have copied down this part over here and let's go ahead and simplify. Let me show you how we're going to simplify. This 5 could be written as 5 over 1 to make it a fraction. Now we have a difference of two fractions. Let me show you an easy way to, to uh, take care of this problem. So we are going to do the cross multiplication, all right? So when we cross multiply, 1 times x minus 8 is going to give us x minus 8. And when we multiply the other way around, negative 5 times this quantity, that is going to give us negative 10 and then plus 5x divided by, we are just simply going to multiply these denominators. We just go ahead and multiply. So 2 minus x times 1 is going to give us simply 2 minus x. And let's simplify this thing. Let's combine the like terms. x plus 5x is going to give us 6x minus 18 divided by 2 minus x. So thus this whole part could be written as simply 6 minus 6x minus 18 divided by 2 minus x is greater than or equal to 0. Thus we have taken care of our very first step and we see that one side of this inequality has got a 0. So I'm going to call this inequality as an i. All right, just keep in your mind. And here is our next step. We are going to find the critical values or sometimes we call it critical points. And in this one, we are going to set our numerator and the denominator, both of them equal to zero. Let's go ahead and do that one. Let's set the numerator, which is 6x minus 18 equal to 0 and same as we are going to do 2 minus x which is our denominator we are going to set that one equal to 0 as well and now let's go ahead and solve for x we're gonna just move this negative 18 on the other side becomes 6x equal to positive 18 and if we divide both sides by 6 we are going to get x equal to 3 value okay and on this side we are going to get x equal to positive 2 so we got two values x equal to 3 and x equal to 2 as our critical values and here is our real number line and we are going to identify these two critical points so let's go ahead and do this thing. x equal to 2 is right here. I'm going to just start it. And x equal to 3 is right here. And now we are going to check both of these critical points. Here I said put x equal to 3 in this our inequality i. Now let's go ahead and substitute x equal to 3 in this inequality i. So this is simply become 6 times x is 3 minus 18 divided by 2 minus 3. My question is, is this statement true? And now we can see that we got 18 on the top minus 18 is 0. 
0 divided by whatever this number is going to give us. 0 is greater than or equal to 0. And this statement is true indeed. So therefore, for this point 3, I am going to put a solid circle, okay? And now let's go ahead and repeat the same process for the next uh, critical point, which is x equal to 2. Therefore, I just wrote down, put x equal to 2 in this identity inequality i. And therefore, I just we are going to just substitute x equal to 2 value. Let's go ahead and do this thing. On the top, this becomes 6 times 2 minus 18 divided by 2 minus to question mark is this statement true now let's focus on the denominator we can see that 2 minus 2 gives us 0 always remember whenever we have a 0 at the denominator this becomes undefined always remember undefined means that this point x equal to 2 does not exist so therefore, at point 2, we are going to put an open circle. And in our next step, we are going to do the test points. So for that one, as we can see that we have a, these two critical points, that is, they are going to give us three regions. The first region is going to be on the left of this point 2. I am going to call this region A. The region in between 2 and 3 I'm going to call region B and the region 3 and on the right hand side I'm going to call this region C. So we are going to pick one point from this each region. And now let's focus on this region A. Let's pick the easy point in this region and I think 0 is going to be really easy one. So I'm going to pick x equal to 0 on this region A. And therefore, I said over here, put x equal to 0 in this inequality i, which is right up here. Let's go ahead and substitute x equal to 0 in this inequality. So that is going to become 6 times 0 minus 18 divided by 2 minus 0. Let's see what happens to this inequality. So 6 times 0 is 0 minus 18 is going to give us negative 18 divided by 2 which is greater than or equal to 0. That means negative 9 equal to greater than 0. And we know that this negative 9 is greater than or equal to 0 is a false statement. It cannot be possible. So that means this region A is, we are going to say this is false. So we're going to rule this region A out. And now let's focus on this region B. In region B is between 2 and 3, we are going to pick a point. I'm going to pick x equal to 2.5, which is same as 5 over 2. And here I wrote down, put x equal to 2.5 in this inequality i for this region b. So let's substitute x equal to 2.5. So that is going to give us 6 times 2.5 minus 18 divided by 2 minus 2.5. And our question is, is this statement true or false? So let's go ahead and simplify. 6 times 2.5 is going to give us 15 minus 18. And on the, the, the denominator is going to give us negative 0 0.5. So we can see at the top is going to be negative 3 over negative 0 0.5 as you can see again these are greater than or equal to 0 and we can see on this left hand side we have a negative number divided by negative number negative divided by negative is going to give us a positive number 
which is greater than or equal to zero. And we can see that this statement is true. All right. So this statement is indeed true. So that means our region B is going to be considered as true. Now let's focus on region C. We are going to pick uh, once again an easy point and I think x equal to 4 is going to be appropriate point. So I picked x equal to 4 and therefore I just wrote down put x equal to 4 and in this inequality i and this is inequality i let's substitute x equal to 4 so this is going to become 6 times 4 minus 18 divided by 2 minus 4. Let's check this inequality, whether it's true or false. On the top is going to give us 24 minus 18 divided by negative 2. Once again, is it true or false? Let's move on and we see on the top that is going to give us 24 minus 18 is going to give us positive 6 divided by negative 2 which is greater than or equal to 0. Now we know that thing over here on this one. So positive divided by negative number is going to give us negative. So that means negative is greater than negative number is greater than or equal to zero and this statement is false so once again make sure this statement is false this cannot be possible that means this region c is going to be false that means we're going to rule out this region c as well so thus our only true region is region b so we are going to shade only b region that is our only solution so our solution in terms of the interval is going to be since 2 is not included i'm going to put a parenthesis since 3 is included i'm going to put a bracket like this one so our solution is going to be simply parentheses 2 comma 3 with a bracket and finally here is our solution I just wrote down in terms of interval notation in terms of inequality notation and in terms of set notation as well and here is our graph as well thanks for watching and please don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos bye